Aging is a natural and inevitable process, yet it is something many of us dread. The passage of time brings with it physical changes, health challenges, and new emotional landscapes, all of which can feel overwhelming if we are unprepared. However, the key to aging well is not about defying time or clinging to youth, but about cultivating habits that foster health, vitality, and resilience as the years go by. The good news is that both ancient wisdom and modern science provide us with valuable guidance on how to age with grace, strength, and purpose. Throughout history, philosophers have explored the art of living well. Stoicism, in particular, has much to offer on how to maintain inner peace, physical health, and mental clarity through all stages of life. In Stoicism, the focus is not on controlling the passage of time, but on controlling how we respond to the inevitable changes that aging brings. Similarly, other philosophies such as Buddhism, Taoism, and modern health practices also emphasize the importance of developing habits that support longevity, balance, and happiness. These habits, when integrated into daily life, can significantly improve both the quality and length of your life. The aim of this video is to guide you through 15 habits for aging with health based on the teachings of Stoicism and other philosophical schools of thought. These habits cover physical health, emotional well-being, mental sharpness, and the cultivation of meaningful connections and purpose. Together, they offer a comprehensive approach to not just surviving the aging process, but thriving in it. By focusing on the things we can control, our habits, mindset and actions, we can navigate the challenges of aging with resilience and vitality. Now, if you are new here, please like the video and subscribe. Statistics show that only 15% of my audience is subscribed to the channel, so if this content has helped you in any way, I ask you to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Habit 1. Practice Mindful Awareness As we grow older, the challenges of aging often feel more pronounced because our mental agility and clarity begin to decline. However, one of the most powerful tools we have to combat this is mindfulness. Mindful awareness, the practice of being fully present in each moment, helps maintain mental sharpness, emotional balance, and overall well-being. By becoming aware of our thoughts, emotions, and bodily sensations in the present moment, we are better able to respond to the challenges that arise as we age, instead of reacting impulsively or dwelling on the past. Mindfulness has roots in both Stoicism and Buddhism, making it a timeless practice for cultivating inner peace and mental clarity. In Stoicism, the writings of Marcus Aurelius often emphasize the importance of living in the present. He wrote extensively about the futility of worrying about the past or future, urging individuals to focus instead on the present moment where we have the most control. In Buddhism, mindfulness is one of the core practices to achieving enlightenment, with teachings that stress the importance of being aware of each passing moment without judgment or attachment. From a scientific perspective, mindfulness has been shown to improve cognitive function, reduce the risk of dementia, and enhance emotional regulation, all essential for healthy aging. Studies have demonstrated that regular mindfulness practice can increase gray matter density in areas of the brain associated with memory, learning, and emotional regulation. It also helps reduce the production of cortisol, the stress hormone that can contribute to aging-related issues such as memory loss and a weakened immune system. To incorporate mindfulness into your life, start with simple daily practices. This could be a few minutes of meditation each morning, where you focus on your breath and let go of any distractions. Or you might try practicing mindfulness during everyday activities, such as eating, walking, or even while doing chores. By fully engaging with the present moment, you not only sharpen your mind, but also bring a sense of calm and clarity 
that carries over into all aspects of life. By cultivating mindfulness, you create a foundation for aging gracefully. It helps you appreciate the present without fear of the future, manage stress more effectively, and remain mentally sharp, even as the years pass. Mindfulness is not a practice of denying the realities of aging, but embracing them with calmness, presence, and mental fortitude. Habit 2. Cultivate Emotional Resilience Aging is not just a physical process, it is also an emotional journey. As we grow older, we face inevitable changes, loss of loved ones, shifting social roles and perhaps even a decline in our physical capabilities. These changes can bring about feelings of loss, frustration or even fear. However, emotional resilience, the ability to recover from setbacks and face challenges with strength, allows us to navigate these emotional shifts with grace. Stoicism provides a powerful framework for cultivating emotional resilience. One of the central teachings of Stoicism is the distinction between what we can control and what we cannot. As Epictetus, one of the great Stoic philosophers, taught, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This concept is crucial for developing emotional resilience. The Stoics believed that while we cannot control external events, we can always control our responses. By focusing on how we choose to respond to life's challenges, we can maintain inner peace even when external circumstances are difficult. In practical terms, emotional resilience involves reframing challenges as opportunities for growth. Instead of viewing aging-related changes, such as retirement, health challenges, or the loss of certain physical abilities, as solely negative, we can reframe these events as chances to develop new strengths, perspectives, and skills. For example, retirement might be seen as an opportunity to pursue passions or interests that were neglected during your working years. Similarly, health challenges can be approached with a mindset of learning, seeking new ways to care for your body and adapting to your needs with creativity and patience. Building emotional resilience also involves practicing acceptance. Many of the difficulties that come with aging, such as illness, loss or the inevitability of death, are beyond our control. However, by accepting these realities rather than fighting them, we reduce the suffering that often accompanies resistance. As the Stoics taught, peace of mind comes not from avoiding difficulties, but from accepting them as natural parts of life. To cultivate emotional resilience in your own life, consider incorporating reflective practices such as journaling, meditation, or even speaking with a trusted friend or therapist. These practices help you process your emotions, gain perspective, and develop a deeper understanding of yourself and your emotional landscape. By regularly engaging in self-reflection, you strengthen your emotional foundation and are better equipped to face the challenges of aging with strength and grace. Habit 3. Prioritize physical exercise. When we think about healthy aging, physical exercise often comes to mind, and for good reason. Regular exercise is one of the most powerful ways to maintain physical vitality, reduce the risk of chronic diseases, and promote mental well-being as we age. The benefits of exercise are well documented. It improves cardiovascular health, strengthens bones and muscles, enhances flexibility, and boosts mood. Additionally, exercise helps maintain physical independence reducing the likelihood of falls or mobility issues that often accompany aging. From a stoic perspective, taking care of the body is essential for living a virtuous and disciplined life. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of temperance and self-discipline, which can be directly applied to how we care for our bodies. The stoics believed that the body is the vessel through which we express our virtues, and as such, it must be maintained with care. 
Epictetus often spoke about the importance of not overindulging in physical pleasures and maintaining a balance between caring for the body and the mind. Modern science supports the stoic belief in the importance of discipline when it comes to physical health. Regular exercise is one of the most effective ways to combat age-related decline. Studies show that exercise helps increase longevity, reduces the risk of cardiovascular disease, and can even slow the progression of cognitive decline. Exercise also triggers the release of endorphins, the body's natural feel-good chemicals, which help improve mood and reduce the risk of depression, an important factor for mental health as we age. To make exercise a regular part of your life, it's important to find activities that you enjoy and that are sustainable in the long term. This might involve a combination of cardiovascular exercise, such as walking, swimming or cycling, strength training to maintain muscle mass and bone density, and flexibility exercises, such as yoga or stretching. The goal is not to push yourself to extremes, but to create a balanced routine that supports your overall health and well-being. Remember, the benefits of exercise extend beyond just physical health. It also improves mental clarity, enhances sleep quality, and helps manage stress, factors that are all essential for aging well. By prioritizing physical activity, you not only take care of your body, but also lay the foundation for a vibrant, healthy, and independent life as you age. Habit four, embrace a balanced diet. A healthy diet is another cornerstone of aging well. What we eat has a profound impact on our physical health, cognitive function, and overall vitality. A balanced diet provides the necessary nutrients to fuel the body, support immune function, and prevent chronic diseases that become more common with age. The foods we choose to eat can either promote health and longevity, or contribute to inflammation, disease, and premature aging. Stoic philosophy, particularly the teachings on temperance and moderation, can guide us in cultivating a healthy relationship with food. The Stoics emphasized the importance of eating in accordance with nature, avoiding excess, and practicing self-discipline in all things, including diet. They believed that food should nourish the body, not serve as a source of indulgence or excess. This aligns with modern advice to eat a balanced diet, focusing on whole, natural foods rather than processed or artificial products. A balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, whole grains and healthy fats supports healthy aging by providing the body with the nutrients it needs to function optimally. It reduces the risk of chronic conditions such as heart disease, diabetes and cognitive decline. Additionally, anti-inflammatory foods such as leafy greens, nuts, berries, and omega-3 rich fish help protect against the damage that inflammation can cause to cells and tissues as we age. To apply this habit, focus on incorporating a variety of nutrient-dense foods into your diet while avoiding processed, sugary, or overly refined foods. Drinking plenty of water and staying hydrated is also key as dehydration can exacerbate many of the issues associated with aging, such as joint pain, fatigue, and cognitive fog. By embracing a balanced diet, you are not only supporting your physical health, but also contributing to your mental clarity, emotional well-being, and longevity. By adopting these first four habits, mindful awareness, emotional resilience, physical exercise, and a balanced diet, you set the stage for aging with grace, vitality, and wisdom. These habits, grounded in both ancient philosophy and modern science, offer practical ways to maintain health and well-being as the years go by. Stay tuned as we continue exploring more habits that will help you age with strength, purpose, and resilience in the following sections of the video. Habit 5. Foster Lifelong Learning. 
Aging with health is not just about maintaining physical fitness or emotional balance. It's also about keeping the mind sharp and engaged. Lifelong learning is a key habit that can enhance cognitive function, delay cognitive decline, and add richness to your life as you age. As we get older, the brain, like any muscle, benefits from regular use. When we continue to challenge ourselves mentally, we stimulate neuroplasticity, which is the brain's ability to reorganize and form new neural connections. This mental flexibility is essential for maintaining memory, focus and problem-solving skills, all of which are critical as we age. In Stoicism, learning is not something that ends when formal education is over. Instead, it is a lifelong pursuit. The Stoics, particularly Marcus Aurelius, placed a high value on learning and self-improvement. In his meditations, Marcus Aurelius often reflected on the importance of wisdom and learning, emphasizing that each day is an opportunity to learn something new, whether through books, observation, or self-reflection. This stoic principle aligns perfectly with the modern understanding that continued mental engagement helps to preserve cognitive function and stave off conditions like dementia and Alzheimer's disease. How can we foster lifelong learning? The opportunities are limitless, but the key is to engage with activities that challenge your mind and inspire curiosity. You might choose to learn a new language, take up a musical instrument, delve into a new area of study, or explore a creative hobby like painting or writing. You could also engage in intellectual conversations, attend lectures, or participate in book clubs, What's important is that you're actively learning and stretching your cognitive abilities, which helps keep your brain healthy and adaptable as you age. Studies show that older adults who engage in regular learning activities experience slower cognitive decline and are better able to handle complex tasks. Learning new skills also promotes a sense of accomplishment and self-efficacy, which is crucial for maintaining emotional well-being. The act of learning not only keeps your brain sharp, but also helps you maintain a sense of purpose and fulfillment, which is particularly important as traditional roles in work or family life may shift. Incorporating lifelong learning into your routine could be as simple as reading every day or signing up for online courses. The internet has made learning more accessible than ever, with thousands of free or affordable courses available on virtually any topic. The key is to stay curious, keep pushing your boundaries, and embrace the joy that comes with acquiring new knowledge and skills. By fostering a habit of lifelong learning, you maintain a vibrant, engaged mind, ready to take on the challenges and joys that aging brings. Habit 6 build meaningful relationships. While much of the focus in discussions of aging tends to be on physical health, social connections are equally important for aging well. Humans are social beings, and strong relationships play a critical role in our overall well-being as we age. In fact, research shows that maintaining close relationships and social connections can significantly improve life expectancy reduce the risk of cognitive decline, and enhance emotional health. In contrast, social isolation and loneliness are associated with higher rates of depression, anxiety, and even a shorter lifespan. Philosophers throughout history have recognized the importance of relationships in leading a fulfilling life. In Aristotle's Nicomachean Ethics, he emphasized that friendship is one of the most important elements of a virtuous and happy life. True friendships, he argued, are based on mutual respect and shared values, and these connections provide emotional support, companionship, and the opportunity to grow as individuals. The Stoics, too, valued meaningful relationships as a source of strength, but they also stressed the importance of maintaining emotional balance in these connections. Seneca wrote extensively about friendship, stating that while it is important to form deep bonds, 
we must also be mindful not to become overly dependent on others for our sense of self-worth or happiness. Building and maintaining relationships as we age can be challenging, especially as life circumstances change. However, making the effort to cultivate meaningful connections is well worth it. Whether through family, friends or community, these relationships provide emotional support and a sense of belonging, which are crucial for mental and emotional health. Social interactions help to reduce feelings of loneliness and provide a buffer against stress and anxiety. One way to strengthen relationships is by being intentional about maintaining them. This might involve scheduling regular time to meet with friends, participating in social clubs or community activities, or simply reaching out to loved ones to stay connected. It's also important to cultivate relationships with people of different ages and backgrounds, as this helps broaden your perspective and keeps your social life dynamic. Moreover, fostering meaningful relationships isn't just about quantity, it's about quality. Focus on building relationships that are based on trust, shared values, and mutual respect. Engage in deep, meaningful conversations that go beyond surface-level interactions. By investing time and energy into these connections, you build a social network that will support you emotionally and mentally as you age. Strong relationships are not just a source of happiness. They are also linked to better health outcomes. Studies have shown that people who maintain close, supportive relationships are more likely to live longer, recover faster from illness, and experience fewer mental health issues. Therefore, cultivating meaningful relationships is an essential habit for aging well, both for your emotional satisfaction and your overall health. Habit 7. Get Quality Sleep Sleep is one of the most underrated but essential aspects of healthy aging. As we get older, the quality of our sleep often declines, which can lead to a host of health problems, including impaired memory, weakened immunity, and increased risk of chronic diseases such as heart disease and diabetes. Unfortunately, many people underestimate the importance of sleep and don't take the necessary steps to ensure they are getting enough restful sleep each night. However, prioritizing sleep is one of the most powerful ways to support both physical and mental health as we age. From a stoic perspective, maintaining discipline in all areas of life, including sleep, is crucial for living well. The Stoics believed in the importance of having a structured life, and this included establishing healthy routines that support overall well-being. Marcus Aurelius In his meditations, often reflected on the need to start each day with purpose and clarity, which is only possible when one is well-rested and mentally sharp. The Stoic concept of temperance can also be applied to sleep, Moderation and balance are key, and ensuring that you get enough rest without oversleeping aligns with the stoic principle of living in harmony with nature. Sleep is when the body repairs itself, both physically and mentally. During deep sleep, the brain processes memories, consolidates learning, and clears out toxins that accumulate throughout the day. A lack of quality sleep impairs cognitive function, making it harder to focus, remember, and make decisions. Chronic sleep deprivation can also weaken the immune system, increase inflammation, and lead to weight gain, all of which negatively impact health as we age. To ensure you get quality sleep, it's important to establish a consistent sleep routine. This includes going to bed and waking up at the same time each day, even on weekends. Creating a relaxing pre-sleep routine, such as reading, meditating, or practicing gentle stretching, can signal to your body that it's time to wind down. Limiting exposure to screens before bed, reducing caffeine intake, and creating a cool, dark, and quiet sleep environment are all practical ways to improve sleep quality. 
In addition to routine, it's also important to recognize the value of sleep for both body and mind. Sleep should be seen as a non-negotiable part of your self-care routine, not something to be sacrificed for the sake of productivity. By prioritizing sleep, you will enhance your cognitive function, emotional regulation and physical health, allowing you to age more gracefully and with greater vitality. Habit 8. Practice Gratitude. Gratitude is a powerful emotional practice that can transform the way we experience aging. As we grow older, it's easy to fall into the habit of focusing on what we've lost, whether that's physical strength, opportunities, or time. However, practicing gratitude helps shift the focus from what is lacking to what remains abundant in our lives. By cultivating a habit of gratitude, we foster a positive outlook that enhances mental health, strengthens relationships, and improves overall life satisfaction. Gratitude is deeply embedded in Stoic philosophy. The Stoics often wrote about the importance of reflecting on the good things in life and appreciating the present moment. Marcus Aurelius frequently reminded himself to be grateful for life's blessings, no matter how small or fleeting they might be. In his meditations, he emphasized the importance of recognizing the beauty in the everyday and the wisdom to see the lessons in even the most challenging circumstances. By regularly reflecting on the things we are grateful for, we cultivate a sense of contentment and acceptance, which is essential for aging well. Modern psychology supports this ancient wisdom. Numerous studies have shown that people who regularly practice gratitude experience lower levels of stress and depression, better physical health, and a greater sense of well-being. Gratitude helps to rewire the brain to focus on positive aspects of life, making it easier to cope with challenges and setbacks. This shift in focus is particularly important as we age, when many of the changes we experience may feel like losses. Practicing gratitude helps us to appreciate the richness of the present moment, rather than dwelling on the past or worrying about the future. Incorporating gratitude into your daily life can be simple, yet powerful. One common practice is keeping a gratitude journal where you write down three things you are grateful for each day. This might include anything from the warmth of the sun on your skin to the kindness of a loved one, or the fact that you are still able to move your body and engage with the world around you. By making this a daily habit, you train your mind to focus on the positive, which has a profound impact on your emotional and physical health. Gratitude can also be expressed through your actions. Take time to thank the people around you, whether that's your family, friends, or even strangers who brighten your day. Gratitude, when shared, deepens connections and strengthens relationships, which are vital for emotional well-being as we age. In summary, practicing gratitude is a simple but transformative habit that promotes emotional resilience, mental clarity, and a greater sense of fulfillment. By regularly reflecting on the things you are thankful for, you create a positive mindset that supports healthy aging and helps you find joy in the present, no matter what challenges life brings. By integrating the habits of lifelong learning, meaningful relationships, quality sleep, and gratitude into your life, you are not only enhancing your health, but also enriching your emotional and intellectual well-being. These habits, grounded in both philosophical teachings and scientific research, offer a holistic approach to aging with grace, resilience, and joy. As we continue in the next section, we will explore additional habits that will help you maintain balance, purpose, and vitality in the later stages of life. Stay tuned as we delve into more timeless wisdom on how to age with health and happiness. You have now reached the halfway mark of the video. I congratulate you for trying to become a better version of yourself, and I also humbly ask you to leave a comment as it helps my channel immensely. If you do not know what to comment, just write 
better every day, so I know you reached this far. And don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Also, I've linked some books on Stoicism that helped me become the man I am today and will also help you achieve a Stoic mindset. Habit 9. Maintain a strong sense of purpose. As we age, it is crucial to maintain a strong sense of purpose. Purpose gives our lives meaning and direction, and it is a key driver of both mental and physical health. Whether through work, hobbies, family, or community involvement, having a clear sense of purpose helps keep us motivated, engaged, and resilient, even in the face of life's challenges. From a philosophical standpoint, the importance of purpose is highlighted across many traditions. In Viktor Frankl's Man's Search for Meaning, he discusses how finding purpose, even in the most difficult circumstances, is essential for emotional and psychological well-being. Frankl, a Holocaust survivor and psychiatrist, observed that those who had a sense of meaning in their lives were far more likely to endure suffering and find a way through hardship. Similarly, the Stoics believed that living with purpose was fundamental to achieving a virtuous and fulfilling life. Marcus Aurelius Often reflected on his responsibilities as a leader, finding meaning in his duty to the Roman Empire, while Sepictetus taught that we must align our actions with our life's purpose, no matter the obstacles we face. Purpose isn't just a philosophical ideal, it's also a vital component of healthy aging. Studies have shown that individuals who maintain a strong sense of purpose tend to live longer, experience fewer health problems, and have a lower risk of cognitive decline. A sense of purpose can be a powerful motivator, keeping the mind sharp and the body active. People who feel their lives have meaning are more likely to take care of their health, stay socially engaged, and maintain a positive outlook. But how do we cultivate or maintain a sense of purpose as we age, especially when our roles in life may change? For some, retirement might feel like a loss of purpose, as the structure and responsibilities of work are no longer present. However, this can also be an opportunity to redefine your purpose in new and fulfilling ways, volunteering, mentoring, pursuing long-held passions, or even spending more time with family and friends can provide a renewed sense of meaning. The key is to identify what drives you and aligns with your values. For some, it may be contributing to their community through volunteer work. For others, it may be learning new skills or passing on their knowledge to the younger generation. Whatever your purpose may be, Having a reason to wake up every morning with intention can drastically improve your quality of life. To find purpose, reflect on what activities or causes bring you joy and fulfillment. Then, set goals and take action toward those areas. Ultimately, maintaining a strong sense of purpose is one of the most important factors in living a happy, healthy life as you age. It keeps the mind focused, the body active, and the spirit engaged. By aligning your actions with your purpose, you create a life that is both meaningful and deeply fulfilling. Habit 10. Embrace change with grace. Aging brings many changes, physical, emotional, and social. How we respond to these changes can have a significant impact on our overall well-being. Some people resist change, clinging to the past while others embrace it, finding new opportunities in every phase of life. Learning to embrace change with grace is a habit that can help you navigate the challenges of aging with resilience and wisdom. Change is a constant in life and the Buddhist teachings on impermanence provide valuable insights into how we can learn to accept and even welcome it. Buddhism teaches that everything in life is transient and that attachment to things as they are causes suffering. By understanding and accepting the impermanent nature of life, 
we can reduce anxiety and stress when faced with change. Similarly, Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control and to accept what we cannot. Epictetus famously said, some things are in our control and others are not. It is only the things that are in our control that should concern us. When it comes to aging, the changes we experience are often beyond our control. Our physical abilities may diminish, our roles in life may shift, and we may face the loss of loved ones. However, we do have control over how we respond to these changes. Instead of resisting them or feeling overwhelmed, we can approach them with acceptance and adaptability. One way to embrace change is by practicing mindfulness. Mindfulness helps us stay grounded in the present moment, reducing the tendency to get lost in worries about the future or regrets about the past. By focusing on the here and now, we are better equipped to handle the transitions and challenges that come with aging. Regular meditation, journaling or reflective practices can help cultivate this mindset of acceptance. Another aspect of embracing change is learning to let go of old habits, routines or roles that no longer serve us. As we age, we may need to adjust our expectations or redefine our sense of self. This process of letting go can be difficult, but it is necessary for personal growth and well-being. By approaching these changes with openness and curiosity, rather than fear or resistance, we can find new opportunities for growth and fulfillment in every stage of life. Ultimately, embracing change with grace allows us to age with resilience and peace. It frees us from the burden of clinging to the past and opens up new possibilities for growth and happiness. Aging is a journey, and by welcoming the changes that come with it, we can make that journey one of continuous learning, adaptation, and fulfillment. Habit 11. Limit Stress Chronic stress is one of the greatest threats to our health as we age. Stress has been linked to a wide range of health issues, including heart disease, high blood pressure, weakened immune function, and even accelerated aging at the cellular level. Learning how to limit stress is essential for maintaining both physical and mental health as we grow older. Philosophical traditions like Stoicism and Chaw Taoism offer powerful tools for managing stress. The Stoics believed that much of our suffering comes not from external events themselves, but from our judgments about those events. Epictetus taught that we should focus on what we can control, our thoughts, actions and attitudes, while letting go of our attachment to outcomes or events that are beyond our control. This practice of focusing on what is within our power is a key way to reduce stress. By shifting our mindset away from trying to control everything, we can find peace even in challenging circumstances. Taoism also offers valuable insights into stress management, particularly through its principle of Wu Wei, or effortless action. Taoist philosophy emphasizes living in harmony with the flow of life, rather than constantly pushing against it. When we resist the natural rhythms of life, or try to force things to happen, we create unnecessary stress. By learning to let go, trust the process, and move with life's current, we can reduce the strain that often comes from overexertion or constant striving. Modern research supports these ancient teachings. Chronic stress triggers the release of cortisol, a hormone that, in high levels, can lead to inflammation, weakened immunity and cognitive decline. Over time, unchecked stress can contribute to serious health issues making it all the more important to find ways to manage stress effectively. There are many practical ways to limit stress in daily life. Meditation, deep breathing exercises, yoga and mindfulness practices are all effective tools for calming the mind and body. Physical exercise is another excellent way to reduce stress as it releases endorphins, improves mood 
and helps regulate the body's stress response. Time management techniques such as prioritizing tasks, setting boundaries, and taking regular breaks can also help reduce feelings of overwhelm and prevent burnout. In addition to these practices, it's important to cultivate a mindset of self-compassion. Often, we are our own harshest critics, placing unnecessary pressure on ourselves to achieve, perform, or meet certain standards. By practicing self-kindness and letting go of perfectionism, we can reduce the internal stress that often exacerbates external pressures. By limiting stress, we create space for greater peace, clarity, and well-being in our lives. This is particularly important as we age, when managing stress becomes even more critical to preserving our health and quality of life. Incorporating stress-reducing practices into your daily routine will help you age with resilience and vitality, ensuring that you enjoy both mental and physical well-being for years to come. Habit 12. Focus on contribution and legacy. As we grow older, our attention often shifts toward the idea of legacy, what we will leave behind for future generations. Focusing on contribution and legacy provides a sense of meaning and fulfillment that is deeply satisfying. This habit is about finding ways to make a positive impact on the world, whether through small acts of kindness, sharing wisdom with others, or leaving behind a more formal legacy, such as a body of work, charitable contributions, or a family tradition. In Seneca's writings, the idea of legacy is closely tied to the Stoic concept of living a virtuous life. Seneca believed that true success was measured not by material wealth or status, but by the positive impact one had on others and the world. He urged individuals to consider how their actions would be remembered and to live in a way that contributed to the greater good. This idea of legacy encourages us to think beyond ourselves and focus on how we can use our time, energy and resources to benefit others. Similarly, Aristotle spoke about the importance of living a life of virtue and contributing to the well-being of the community. For Aristotle, the ultimate goal of life was eudaimonia, often translated as flourishing or happiness, which could only be achieved through living virtuously and contributing to the common good. Focusing on legacy is not about grand gestures or leaving behind monumental achievements. Rather, it's about finding small, meaningful ways to make a difference. This might involve mentoring younger generations, volunteering in your community, or passing down important life lessons to your children or grandchildren. Even the smallest contributions can have a lasting impact on the lives of others. Creating a sense of legacy also has profound benefits for your emotional well-being. Research shows that people who feel a sense of purpose and contribution in their later years are more likely to experience greater life satisfaction and emotional health. By focusing on what you can give rather than what you can take, you foster a sense of connection, meaning and fulfillment that enriches your life and the lives of those around you. Incorporating this habit into your life might involve reflecting on what you want your legacy to be. Ask yourself, what values do I want to pass on? How can I use my knowledge, skills or resources to make a positive difference in the world? Whether through teaching, volunteering or simply being present for loved ones, finding ways to contribute will help you age with purpose, meaning and a lasting sense of accomplishment. As we continue to explore the habits that promote healthy aging, it becomes clear that a combination of physical, mental and emotional practices is essential for a fulfilling life. From cultivating purpose and embracing change, to limiting stress and focusing on contribution, these habits offer a roadmap for aging with grace, vitality and wisdom. Stay tuned for the final section, where we will uncover the last few habits that can help you navigate the aging process with strength and resilience. 
Habit 13. Practice moderation. As we age, maintaining balance becomes increasingly important. Overindulgence in food, drink or any activity can accelerate the aging process and lead to a host of health issues, from weight gain and heart problems to stress and burnout. Practicing moderation is essential to aging gracefully, ensuring that you enjoy life's pleasures without compromising your long-term health and well-being. The concept of moderation has deep philosophical roots, especially within Stoicism and Epicureanism. The Stoics, particularly Seneca, emphasized temperance as a core virtue. Temperance or moderation was about knowing how to enjoy things in life without being controlled by them. The Stoics taught that pleasure in itself was not harmful, but becoming dependent on pleasure or overindulging in it could lead to a lack of self-control, which would ultimately undermine a life of virtue and purpose. Similarly, the Epicureans believed that true happiness comes from moderation. Epicurus argued that simple pleasures enjoyed in moderation were the key to a fulfilling life. He advised against overindulgence, warning that it could lead to unnecessary pain and suffering. In modern times, the wisdom of moderation is supported by scientific research. Overeating, for instance, has been linked to obesity, diabetes and heart disease, while excessive drinking can damage the liver and other organs. On the other hand, moderate and mindful consumption of food and drink promotes health, longevity and mental clarity. This principle of moderation applies not just to what we consume, but also to how we live. Striking a balance between work and rest, between productivity and leisure, is essential for maintaining energy and well-being. Practicing moderation doesn't mean depriving yourself of the things you enjoy. Rather, it's about cultivating a balanced approach to life. You can still indulge in your favorite foods, enjoy a glass of wine, or spend time relaxing. Just be mindful of how much and how often. By doing so, you ensure that your pleasures enhance your life rather than detract from it. To incorporate moderation into your life, start by paying attention to your habits. Notice if there are areas where you tend to overindulge, whether it's food, alcohol, work, or screen time. Once you've identified these areas, set mindful limits for yourself. For example, instead of having dessert every night, make it a special treat a few times a week. Or if you find yourself working late into the night, Set boundaries for when you stop working to ensure you have time for relaxation and rest. By practicing moderation, you protect your health and well-being while still enjoying life's pleasures. This balance is key to aging well, as it allows you to savor the good things in life without overburdening your body or mind. Moderation also cultivates discipline and self-control, virtues that enhance both physical health and emotional resilience, allowing you to navigate the aging process with grace and ease. Habit 14. Engage in creative activities. Aging well isn't just about maintaining physical health. It's also about keeping the mind and spirit engaged. One of the most fulfilling ways to do this is through creative activities. Whether it's painting, writing, playing music or crafting, creative pursuits stimulate the brain, foster emotional expression and provide a sense of accomplishment. Engaging in creativity helps keep your mind sharp, reduces stress and adds joy and meaning to your life. Throughout history, creativity has been viewed as an essential aspect of human flourishing. Plato and Aristotle. Both spoke of the importance of creative expression as a means of personal and intellectual growth. In Stoicism, while the focus was more on rational thought, creativity was not dismissed. The Stoics recognized the value of using one's talents and imagination to contribute to society and personal development. 
Engaging in creative activities was seen as a way to bring order and harmony to the mind, which aligns with the stoic pursuit of inner peace and clarity. Modern science confirms the benefits of creative activities, particularly for older adults. Studies show that engaging in creative pursuits can enhance cognitive function, delay the onset of dementia, and improve overall mental health. Creativity stimulates the brain, promoting neuroplasticity, which helps keep your mind adaptable and sharp as you age. Additionally, creative activities provide a form of emotional expression, which can be particularly valuable in managing the complex emotions that often arise in later life. Creativity also serves as a way to process life experiences and reflect on your personal journey. As you age, you accumulate a wealth of knowledge, stories, and wisdom. Engaging in creative activities allows you to express and share these insights, whether through writing memoirs, creating art that reflects your life's experiences, or composing music that captures your emotions. To incorporate creativity into your life, start by exploring activities that interest you. If you've always enjoyed drawing or painting, set aside time each week to work on a new project. If writing appeals to you, consider starting a journal, writing poetry, or even attempting a short story. You don't have to be a professional artist or writer to reap the benefits. What matters is that you're engaging your mind and expressing yourself creatively. If you're not sure where to start, try taking a class or joining a group that focuses on a creative activity. Many communities offer workshops or clubs for painting, knitting, music, and other creative pursuits. These groups not only provide a structured way to engage in creativity, but also offer social interaction, which further supports emotional well-being. By making creativity a regular part of your life, you keep your mind active and engaged, reduce stress, and find new ways to experience joy and fulfillment. Creative expression allows you to continue growing and evolving, even in later life, making it a powerful tool for aging with health and vitality. Habit 15. Practice self-compassion. As we age, we often face new limitations, both physical and mental. It's easy to be hard on ourselves for not being able to do what we once could, or for making mistakes that we might not have made when we were younger. However, practicing self-compassion, treating ourselves with the same kindness and understanding that we would offer a friend, can make a significant difference in how we navigate the aging process. Self-compassion is deeply rooted in Buddhist teachings, which emphasize the importance of cultivating compassion for both oneself and others. Buddha taught that self-compassion is the foundation for true kindness and empathy toward others. Without it, we are more likely to judge ourselves harshly and experience unnecessary suffering. Stoicism. Two offers a form of self-compassion, though framed in the language of acceptance. The Stoics taught that we should accept our limitations and mistakes as part of the human experience, rather than berating ourselves for them. Seneca often wrote about the importance of accepting one's imperfections and using them as opportunities for growth. Self-compassion is particularly important as we age because aging inevitably brings about changes and challenges that can be difficult to accept. Physical abilities may decline, cognitive sharpness may wane, and life circumstances may shift in unexpected ways. Instead of viewing these changes as failures or reasons for self-criticism, self-compassion encourages us to approach them with gentleness and understanding. By practicing self-compassion, we acknowledge that aging is a natural part of life, and we treat ourselves with the care and respect we deserve. Research shows that self-compassion has numerous benefits for emotional well-being. People who practice self-compassion tend to experience lower levels of anxiety, depression, and stress. They are also more resilient in the face of challenges 
as self-compassion provides a sense of emotional support that helps them navigate difficult times with greater ease. When we are kind to ourselves, we create a more positive mindset, which can enhance both mental and physical health. To cultivate self-compassion, start by paying attention to your inner dialogue. Notice when you're being critical of yourself and ask whether you would speak to a friend in the same way. If not, try to reframe your thoughts with kindness and understanding. For example, instead of thinking, I can't believe I made that mistake, try, I'm doing the best I can and it's okay to make mistakes. Another helpful practice is self-compassion meditation, which involves focusing on feelings of kindness and love toward yourself. You can visualize yourself as you would a close friend and direct compassionate thoughts toward yourself. This practice helps foster a sense of self-acceptance and encourages you to treat yourself with gentleness, even when facing challenges or setbacks. By practicing self-compassion, you create a healthier relationship with yourself as you age. Instead of focusing on your limitations or mistakes, you learn to accept yourself fully, imperfections and all. This acceptance brings peace of mind and emotional resilience, helping you navigate the ups and downs of aging with grace and kindness. Conclusion Aging is an inevitable part of life, but how we age is largely within our control. By adopting habits that nurture physical health, emotional well-being, mental sharpness, and a sense of purpose, we can age with grace, vitality, and fulfillment. The 15 habits we've explored, ranging from mindfulness, emotional resilience, and exercise, to creativity, moderation, and self-compassion, offer a comprehensive approach to aging that draws on the wisdom of Stoicism, Buddhism and other philosophical traditions, as well as modern science. These habits are not just about extending life, they are about enhancing the quality of life, ensuring that we remain vibrant, engaged and purposeful as we age. Each habit builds on the others, creating a holistic framework for living well into our later years. By focusing on what we can control, embracing change, fostering connections and maintaining a sense of purpose, we create a life that is rich with meaning and joy no matter our age. Ultimately, the path to aging with health is not about fighting against time, but about aligning with it, learning to embrace each stage of life with wisdom, acceptance and grace. Through these habits, you can cultivate the physical strength, emotional resilience, and mental clarity needed to thrive in the later stages of life, ensuring that your journey through aging is not just long, but deeply fulfilling. Now, if any part of this message has been helpful to you, leave us your like and comment, helping the algorithm recommend it to someone who needs it at this time. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss new videos. And if you look through the videos we've already uploaded, you're sure to find something to take with you. Have a good day.